hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, I was on YouTube yesterday, and I was watching the McMaster. I do watch his videos sometimes because some of them are funny, um, and some of them are very misleading. But anyway, what was I watching? Uh, Jeff and Lee had gone out on a lunch date, I think, and I think they filmed this after. They were sitting outside a cafe and had a nice cup of tea or coffee. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and Lee was doing, Lee McMaster, I'll just say McMaster, uh, he was doing some of his comments. And one of the first comments that he said about was something to do with somebody was saying to the McMaster that you're, you're spreading BS about battery technology because battery technology is going to get better and better and advance. So the range, is, the range on an electric car is going to get longer, uh, charges are going to get faster, and the batteries are going to get safer. Uh, that's a given because technology does improve over time. So when the McMaster always says, in his, in his videos he always says, uh, I don't think electric cars are the future. But he's driving an electric car of the present. He's not driving an electric car of the future. I wish he could understand that. He's not driving an electric car of the future. He's driving an electric car of the present. Or should I say, he's driving a car from 2021. So he's actually driving an electric car from the past. <laughs> anyway, what's the point? Of, what's, what's the point? So he read out a comment and I said about battery technology is going to get much better as it develops. And he turned to Jeff, and this is what Jeff said. Uh, let me start with this one. Um, this battery technology that we've been promised. It's been promised that for years. It's promised for a very long time. <laughs> All people have got to say is, when you look at secondhand EVs and Auto Trader, and you'll find, let's say, an early Nissan Leaf, and the advert will say it's only got 12 miles usable range left, everybody will say, well, it's the early technology. Where is this new technology that we've been <laughs> promised? It's not coming, is it? I'm ready for it. Right, so Jeff said, that the battery technology basically hasn't improved at all since the very first Nissan Leafs, the early Nissan Leafs. Now, from, from my memory, if I dig back into my mind, <laughs> some way here, uh, I remember that the, I think it was 2011, maybe somewhere around that time, the first Nissan Leafs came out and the batteries were not the best. Now, if I also remember correctly, the batteries in a Nissan Leaf have just, they're just air cooled, just the air blown over the batteries. There's no actual proper cooling. So they haven't got any cooling at all, except for the air blown over them. Whereas modern batteries, you know, they have liquid cooling. So they keep the batteries warmer or colder. They keep them in the sweet spot. Whereas the Nissan Leafs, and I think they were 24 kilowatt hour batteries, so they were quite small at the time, and they were the first ones developed. Uh, and I think it was only the first couple of years, they were the worst ones. Um, now, Jeff is saying by there that uh, if you go on Auto Trader, whatever he said, uh, you go on there, and there's some Nissan Leafs, and they got very low range. Yes, because they were the first batteries in electric cars of this sort of lithium technology mass produced and they weren't very good they weren't and he's trying to say that battery technology hasn't advanced from then <laughs> jeff you're wrong <laughs> so i'm calling out jeff again look this is the problem right this is the problem with um lee and jeff's channels okay the, the biggest problem is that they're uneducated on everything about EVs. It's all well and good having a rant, but you need to have more information behind you because you're giving out misinformation. Um, now, I'm not saying they can't, they can. It, you know, free speech and all that, they can make whatever video they want. And I'm not gonna call them names or stupid or idiots. I'm just gonna say <laughs> that they're uneducated on this certain topic. So, Let's try and dive in and see if battery technology has actually advanced from, I think it's 2011 uh, to now, 2023. Has battery technology advanced? Well, I know the answer already, it has, okay? But, <laughs> but let's have a look. Let's have a look on a web page or something and see the difference. Battery energy density is the amount of energy that can be stored in the same amount of weight. 
Think about it as the amount of range that can be extracted from the same 500 kilogram pack. As energy density increases, more energy can be extracted from a battery pack of the same weight. Battery energy densities keep getting better. Colin McCracker, head of advanced transport at Bloomberg NEF said, they've almost tripled at the cell level since 2010. Right, so there you go then. If Jeff had just done a little bit of research, I mean, he talks about electric cars a lot. So I, I'm saying if Jeff, if you do watch this or somebody watches this, go and tell Jeff. If you're gonna talk about electric cars all the time, and that's your, you know, your main subject, get a bit more information, you know, and then you can be more, you know, educated. To, to, you know, when you, when you talk to people, like, like, look, look, if you're saying to somebody, battery technology hasn't moved on, and they don't like electric cars, and they've never looked at electric cars, or never looked at batteries, they're gonna believe what Jeff's saying, right? They're gonna believe Jeffrey, and what he's saying is right, is correct. Well, it's not, because battery technology keeps moving on. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> um, a little bit more education, please, Jeffrey, would be nice. Anyway, that's my video for today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoo-hoo!